going on YouTube welcome back to the channel so today I'm gonna go pick up um, here in uh, Amarillo here where I live at um, and finding a load out here in Amarillo is pretty hard guys it's it's pretty hard so that's why um, if I do find a load out here for Amarillo I try to tell my uh, uh, my dispatcher or dispatcher sister-in-law to book that load because um, most of the Amarillo's that I'm, well the place I'm gonna go pick up they either go out like out of state man like you're I'm either gonna go and then go to Alabama or Ohio or something but they do have these ones where it's pick up here in Amarillo and I'm gonna be end up going to El Paso. So they're they're out there. I just I just gotta make sure I get them, you know. So that's where I'm at right now. Picking up here in Amarillo, I'm gonna be going to uh, El Paso to go deliver. That's 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 just my first load for the week. So, uh, which um, if everything goes good and if this truck does good, then it should be a good week. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. You know, last week was not a good week at all. I only did two weeks. I mean, two weeks. I only did two loads, Turn left on FM and I was out for about four days on the road. So for two loads, being out for four days, that ain't good right there. So uh, I think with this week, I should have a total of five loads. Five loads, being out for five days, is is pretty good. That right there, I, I call that a win. So. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed like, the last video I posted about that boost gauge, um, which I'll show it to you guys right now. There she is, all lit up. But out here in Amarillo, man, it's freaking cold out here in Texas. You guys hear about during the summer it gets hot and all that, but from where I live at in Amarillo, it's during the summer, it wasn't that bad. It was a lot better than it was in California, in Bakersfield. And, um, but out here, oh man, it's so cold. Like the other day, I think the highest was, um, the highest was like 32 degrees, right? And uh, we asked my neighbor and they said it gets colder than that. And the truck, I turned on the truck. The truck didn't know how to act. I had to uh, release my brakes, press on the, the brake pedal until my valves popped out. Like I had to do that three times for my gauges to, to work right. And um, yeah, it, and apparently it gets colder than that. So um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not ready for that. But most likely, if it is gonna be colder than that, I probably won't be running. Cause if it's cold over here, I can just imagine how the rest of Texas is gonna be, you know? So, but that's just me, you know? Uh, I actually have the the ability to uh, do that, you know, think, you know, that I'm not an owner, -op I mean, that I'm not a company driver. So I do have the ability to, uh, To take a week off and uh, and be okay, you know. Would I recommend it to anybody? No, <laughs> no, don't, don't take a week off. But if you guys, I I have driven in the snow. I do have the experience of driving in the snow. I know how to put chains on. I've only done it once, but I know how to I know how to do it. Um, so I do have the experience. I just choose not to. I choose not to put myself in that situation, you know. 
um, which I would hope that everybody thinks the same way, you know, but, you know, sometimes, if being a company driver, you just gotta take whatever they give you, you know, so there's no, there's no going about, no, I don't wanna take that low, you know, if, um, if you reject the low being a company driver, you know, that company's gonna be pissed off, and I know how it is, you know, I, I, I know the whole aspect of, uh, um, of dealing with that, you know, so, uh, some drivers don't have the ability to say, no, I don't want to take it, or I'm going to take a whole week off, you know, some, some drivers can't, um, and some drivers got to make some money, you know, so that's why, um, yeah, that's why I, I, know, I know how it is, but if you guys do plan on driving the snow, be safe out there, make sure you guys have chains, if you guys are going to be driving somewhere where you know Turn left on I gets uh, north. frozen Turn overnight, left the right. that has a lot of snow, Wyoming, um, uh, Utah, North Dakota, South Dakota, all those places, um, just, yeah guys, just, just be careful out there, man, because, and then not only that, I, I know Texas too, Texas, te Texas gets pretty bad too, you know, so, uh, but like I said, you know, if, if, if it's freezing, freezing out here, I'll, I'm going to be taking how many days off I need to take off until Turn right at the, the stop weather sign gets a lot better. So left. that's one thing I got to do is also look at the weather. I didn't really do that when I was in California for CR England because it's, it's California, you know, right? You know, like how bad can it really get? But out here, I, I'm, I'm going to have to do it, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, so enough of me talking. The, the pickup is only about, is only a couple of miles away. Uh, it's only a couple of miles away. And, Take the exit and it's very on easy. The to I but yeah, I'll be back with you guys north. once I get to my pickup. Alright, guys, so I'm literally here by my pickup. Um, I'm gonna get to see that, the building right here to my right so that's what i'm gonna go pick up i've been here before i think this is probably my either my fourth time picking up my fourth or fifth time but uh yeah it's, it's not it's not a bad place it's, uh it's, it's quite easy actually on the right toward fm 1541 there's uh plenty of room to do a straight line back so that's what i love about it i'm pretty sure this guy's probably going to the same place too guy in front of me the only thing is that when i get here I, there's a phone number that i gotta i gotta write down uh, it's either you call this number or you get on the certain channel for the cb radio i unfortunately don't have a cb radio so which i am gonna be buying one soon because of the weather um, but i do recommend you guys get also it's another recommendation get a cb radio right, whether Texas you're even a company driver you know uh company driver owner operator everyone should have a cb radio especially during the time of a during the winter you know um that way you guys know exactly what type of weather you guys are dealing right with texas 335 loop um, and it doesn't bite you in the ass last minute Find us. 
spot. Park. Getting that number down too. But let me go slide my pull out my pants. I can slide my tandems. And that's probably not gonna work because I'm three wheeling it right now. It might work. I'll find out right now. Those number and I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, I forgot to film it as soon as they called me from my door. I literally just started driving over here, didn't even think to pick up the, the GoPro. But um, I'm docked, uh, I am in door number eight. Said very easy place. Um, all they want is for before you come into the facility, they want you to slide your tandems and then um, open, open up your doors and then just come over here which i did the eld crawl inside here because i'm not trying to use my my time when i can use my time to pick up another load man i don't know what it is about this window but this window's giving me a hard time Ugh. it doesn't help that i'm short Help that I'm fucking short. <sighs> Ever since this weather, my winter started doing this. All right. Well, I'm, I gotta clean out my mirror, but I'll be back with you guys in a bit. All right. I'm all loaded up. Now I gotta. Pull out forward. See, I like this place because the guy was literally maybe like 20 minutes on uh, loading me up. I like this place. But I gotta pull out before I can even strap up. strap up to uh, secure my load because every time I say strap I'm about to strap up my air, my uncle thinks that I'm, I'm on a flatbed and, and I'm not <laughs> nope I'm just a, a door dummy that's all I am for now I do plan on uh, getting into flatbedding so but for now it is what it is <clears throat> I'll just be a dorm dummy for now. Which there ain't nothing wrong with it. I mean, but you know, now with technology, 
now with uh, them trying to make uh, automated uh, self-driving trucks, now we got to get into doing the jobs where it's going to require someone to be in that truck. You know what I mean? Flat bedding, heavy hauling, uh, car hauling, all that. No, uh, yeah, there's, there's something that's gonna require someone, you know, uh, if you're doing reefer and if you have to unload your truck with the with the pallet jack, you know, that, that's good too, you know. But uh, yeah, man, you know, those automated trucks pretty soon, uh, believe it or not, they will be taking over uh, the drive van, you know. Uh, a lot of like the big warehouses, maybe like Amazon, Walmart, you know, believe it or not, I, I, I see it. I see in the future where they, they do take it over. Um, so that's why I do plan on uh, on doing flat bedding in the, in the future. So see how that goes. I know the rates are a lot, uh, I wanna say a lot, but I know they pay a little bit more, obviously because of load securement and all that. Uh, it is a lot more dangerous but you know um, it pays more you know so i think as long as you have a good secure load and you're you're smart about it then i think you should be all right so let me go ahead and uh all i gotta do is just tie down my load um and then slide my tandems all the way forward and then i'm gonna be out of here so i will be back guys going on guys so I had quite a morning already so far uh, an exciting morning my truck didn't want to turn over like the, the battery said was dead I think it's just because of the cold but literally I turned on my truck uh, I made sure my battery charged up just because I knew it was cold before I went to the restroom as soon as I got done doing my thing, who's calling me? Is that the way? As soon as I got done doing my my number two, you know, I came back, turned on my truck. Nope, wouldn't turn on. And I was, I had to ask drivers, and for some reason, I don't know what it is. I understand it's a liability issue, but truck drivers, some. Well, I I literally asked six truck drivers. And out of the six, only one said, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll give me a jump. Uh, but he was very hesitant, like he didn't want to in a way, you know, like he wasn't happy about it. So luckily there was a little maintenance guy and I asked him for a jump and he said, yeah, you know, that's fine. So I'm just like, each one that kept saying we're liable, something happens to your truck, then let me be the one you put the jumper cables on my side and you put the jumper cables on your side you know it, I, I, it's just I don't know I, I, I don't know what it is it's just like it's like, honestly it's quite disappointing that we're just trying to help out each other and some truck, some truck drivers don't like a while back a lady asked me for a jump and right away I said yeah you know like there was no hesitation in my voice you know, um, I said, you know what, yeah, because we gotta help each other out, you know? It's bad enough that we're already getting fucked over with these rates, and and someone doesn't want to help us out for a quick little jump, like, come on, man, like, that's, to me, I think that's, that's straight bullshit, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so, I'm good, truck's running good right now, um, hopefully, doesn't die again but if it does die I'm gonna make sure I catch it on time um, and probably I might have to change out my batteries so who knows how much a battery is for this truck so yeah so that's that but anyway guys I'm on my way to my drop it's literally right up ahead um, I gotta turn right at the street. But yeah, oh, what a morning. And I literally woke up 
at 6.30 in the morning and I don't have, and I need to drop at 8 in the morning. So to me, I, to me in my head, I'm, I'm considered late, you know, cause I should have been there an hour early. That's just me. Uh, but yeah, I'll still make it on time. You know, thank God I woke up on, I woke up early, you know, because if I would have woke up at around seven o'clock, I would have been fucking running around like my, like a with chicken fucking head chopped off trying to find something to jump me like it would it would have been a mess so uh thank god i fucking woke up early i know the place is right here somewhere but i gotta turn right at the street which i think it's right past this warehouse One quarter mile, arrive at 11801 Alameda Avenue on the right. I'll be back once I uh, get there okay to the dock here. I'll be back. All right, so apparently there's already two people in front of me. But I got to set myself up because I'm not doing a blind side back. Well, I am going to do a blind side back right now. Do anything crazy? I'm just gonna back up and then come around the other way and park over there. But I'm not on the way, but I'm gonna do a blast side back in between this guy. It's quite a bit of room to do it, so.
not the greatest, a blindside vacuum. Stupid. There's plenty of room over there. Oh, I just gotta watch this side. trying to make it pretty, I'm just trying to straighten myself out. Because I don't want to be that guy and being in the way. One thing I hate, and I mean, I hate being in the way of other drivers. That's me, that's my pet peeve. I don't like being in the way. I would expect the same way, same thing from other drivers, not to be in the way. Nothing recording? Yeah, it's recording. Yeah, I would expect this for the other drivers to think the same way, but some drivers don't. They'll be in your way regardless. Me, I'm different. I like to stay out of the way, give drivers plenty of room to work with, you know. But like that guy, he should. That guy should have been parked over here where I'm at, where I'm gonna park at. There's, 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 you know, there's no need for him to be right there, you know. Because what if a driver like those, those drivers right there, what if they just have to do a drop and hook, you know? A drop a hook, and that driver's just in the way. So that's the reason why I do that. I don't want to be in the way. That's just me, guys. Okay, let's see. What's my logs looking like? Is this those ones? Um, a sign for Thursday. Yeah, so this is uh, the place that came to deliver is called Warner. Um, I'll put a picture of the facility of how to come in, and the, the same way you come in is the same way you come out. They do have other like warehouses. Uh, this is a giant warehouse, so they have different sections. But they're coming here to Warner Company, not Warner Transportation. It's called Warner Co. Um, yeah, so that way you guys don't get it mixed up. But yeah, it's called Warner Co. 
and um, yeah, it's on this side. But I'll put a I'll put a satellite view map. You know, that way you guys can look at it. If you guys ever come to live here, um, it's not a bad spot. You know, it's just like they 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 set you up for a blindside back. So then you got to figure out how to get yourself into a regular better backing position, and that makes sense. You know, so. Um, but they want us to go to dock number four, which is perfect because you saw we have all that room over there. So perfect. I don't, I don't have to worry about hitting another trailer on my left. I just got to watch that trailer um, that I'm going to be backing up next to. I mean, trailer to my right, backing up trailer to my left. So it's fine by me. But yeah, guys, so um, I will be back as soon as they give me a call. Oh, no, as soon as this driver leaves that driver leaves and i'm able to back up so i'll be back one time back in all right well i was gonna wait but while i'm waiting might as well get my doors open take out my straps my trailer get that over with Then I have another pickup today. Hopefully I can pick that up. Hopefully I can pick up that load earlier than uh, six because yeah. And yeah, I put two locks on guys. Better safe than sorry. I know, I mean, these locks, if someone really wanted to get in this trailer, they can, but you know, it's gonna, it's gonna take him a while. This lock I actually got from um, CR England, and this some heavy duty stuff right there. I like that lock right there. Big boy, get in there. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I might as well be ready. So as soon as that guy pulls out, you know, I could just pull in, but I am gonna leave this this load ain't gonna move nowhere. Now if I was stacked double I would leave one strap in here, but since I'm not stacked double, I'm gonna take both my straps off. And yes, I like to fucking, I like to fold my straps up, be organized. One thing I hate seeing is a unorganized driver. Like, maybe, maybe, not, maybe not unorganized, but you ever see those truck drivers that have just trash and shit on their dashboard oh i hate fucking seeing that shit bugs me man like how can you live like that like you're basically living in a truck so that truck's literally your home and you could just live like that and oh man i could just imagine what their house looks like now if that truck is their house that's that's nasty and you know what and there's a big difference between a driver and a company driver. That right there is a company driver. And let me tell you guys why. That driver doesn't care about the, the, the owner's equipment, you know, um, just keeping it a mess. I bet you that truck's a mess. He probably, I bet you that driver, driver doesn't even do his pre-trip, doesn't check his shit. So that's a company driver. That's just someone that doesn't care doesn't care about the, the owner's equipment, the, the, the owner's um, investment, nothing like, nothing like that, you know? Uh, if you're a driver and you guys wash your truck and it's not even your equipment, you take care of it, you clean it, you're a fucking truck driver. I'll tell you that right now. You're a truck driver. One that actually cares 
one that actually sees a problem that reports it right away to um, your dispatch or to wherever you got reported to, you're a fucking truck driver right there. All right, so. Now since the doors are open, I'm going strapped. Yeah, sorry about that light. It's hitting straight at me right now. But yeah, so I'll be back with you guys once I once that driver leaves and uh I can back it up. So I'll be back. So this guy just left. Now it's my turn. Everybody's gone. I got the only one here besides this guy that's leaving. So, like I said, this dock is very easy. So, shouldn't be too bad. myself up a little more. I could have called it good right there, but nah. I gotta be straight. It's like one of my pet peeves. That's just me. I don't know about you guys. Maybe you guys like being a little bit creaky, but nah. It's like a sense of satisfaction for me. I don't know. Hurry up and unload me and get the hell on out of here. But apparently I can't go pick up my next load until almost six o'clock. So yeah, that's not good. Anyways, guys, so that's gonna end today's video. I know it's pretty short. I just had to record. It was an exciting day. Fuck my batteries, but it is what it is. I'm good now. So make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys are not subscribed, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which I'll probably be doing another video after I pick up my next load. So after this, I'm just gonna go to a Flying J, which is nearby, and then call it good. Probably take a shower, relax, unwind a little bit. Hopefully I can pick up earlier, but 
yeah we'll see how that goes anyway guys so like always like i said hit the like button subscribe and oh, look at this guy yeah anyway guys see you guys in my next video peace out